Hi guys, it's Diana with Style by Dee Dee, and today I'm going to be doing my American Apparel Flea Market haul. I don't know if you could see the writing on that. So, the American Apparel Flea Market, they do that once a year at their warehouse in downtown LA, and they pretty much mark everything down about 50% off. Some things are just regular retail price, like some of the uh, shirts that they have, the blouses, even the jeans. Um, they had like the colored denim for like $25 to $35. But just to give you an idea of what they have, um, they have men's um, like t-shirts are $8 to $10, women's dresses are $15 to $35. Um, they have their underwear, their blazers, their hoodies. Um, they also have a vintage section. It's maybe a few racks, but it's mostly sweaters and like old, old um, denim jackets like from the 80s. So if you're into like the 80s fashion trends, definitely go check that out. Um, they have like kids stuff, they have dog stuff, they have like a little like dog shirt. And they have them in different sizes, so if you have a small dog to a big dog, they have those two sizes. They have accessories like little clutches, some handbags, and then you can also get like your own custom print design printed on a t-shirt for like an additional 5 to $10. So if you're looking at doing something like that, definitely go check it out with your disk drive in hand, and you can take them that like a JPEG image or a TIFF or whatever the requirements are, you probably could check online. Um, the sale is good through the 31st. Um, I would suggest going on a Sunday just because Saturday seems to be really long lines and I went on a Sunday and it just was not that busy. I'll have images of the sale and everything online also. But I'm just going to go over some of the stuff I got. So I'll do the accessories first. I got this handbag. It's like this cute little clutch. And it's in purple. I got this for $5. They had them on for $10, but when I got to the register, they were 50% off. So they were $10. They have like this more durable leather. They had a really soft leather. They had them in variations of browns greens, um, the purples, I think they had some red um, and blues, some really pretty blues too, so definitely go check those out. Got that. And then I got, sorry, a nail polish. They had different colors too. They had this one, like a really light lilac, which I just didn't feel like it was very, um, for the fall or winter, so I got this color. Um, definitely can take this from now until the springtime, so definitely check that out. These were three dollars, so that's a good deal. I mean, I think those retail for like I don't know six or seven dollars. Correct me if I'm wrong. Then I got this purple dress. wrapping around the top part so it really like accentuates you on the top it's this purple color now this one they had these in black white red green blue I mean every color of the rainbow they have this one and it was twenty dollars it's usually retails at forty one so you get it for fifty percent off it's not a bad deal and then um, like I mentioned, they do have men's stuff also, so definitely check that out. A lot of their men's stuff is also unisex, so if you get like a smaller size or whatever size fits you, definitely could wear it. There's nothing that makes a t-shirt just a men's t-shirt, so definitely check those out. So this one, it's kind of like an artsy type shirt, and it has this design in the front of these um, two girls next to each other. I just thought it was really cool 
kind of like, you know, artsy. It's like a sketched out design. So, very cool. And then I got a denim jacket. Not denim, sorry, corduroy jacket in black. It has like these brass buttons. Very nice fitting. I rolled up the sleeves just so that it's not like just this boxy looking jacket. It kind of has a little bit more style to it. And this was in the men's section. If you're looking for something like this, um, you can get, you know, various sizes. This one was for $79 at the retail store, and I got it for $37. So, definitely a good buy with the jacket. I would say that the jacket was probably the best investment piece. Um, I wouldn't suggest going to get t-shirts. Um, a lot of like their distressed tees or their regular basic t-shirts, I just felt like were overpriced. They were for $8. You can get some at... Target, Walmart, Forever 21, Old Navy for like five or four bucks. So, why go in all the way out there, spend the money on gas, and not really get a good deal? Um, I would also suggest um, if you're gonna want to go for like smaller knickknack items at the checkout lane, is where they kind of just bombard you with all these different things from books to nail polishes, belts sunglasses so if you don't see anything in the store like the whole warehouse definitely check that out because I think that's probably where you're gonna find the best deals as far as accessories um, men's department I think has the best variety I mean some of the women's stuff I just still felt like it was way overpriced um, I spent about $90 on these you know four or five pieces so I mean, maybe I would have spent that on two, but you're expecting flea market prices, and you kind of get a little disappointed when you don't get that. A lot of people were walking away with a few items. So, if you're a big American Apparel fan and you want, like, a great deal, i just not sure you're going to find it here. Um, but then again, you know, you might want to just go looking for like a jacket. I would recommend um, like a holiday dress, like a very basic holiday dress, um, and accessories. I think that's going to be your best bet. So once again, that's going to be at the American Apparel Warehouse in downtown LA, and the sale's going through um, the 31st, so definitely check it out. Um, and thanks again for watching, and check out my blog. I'll have images of the sale and more pictures of the stuff I picked up. Thanks again, guys. Check out stylebydd.com, and that's style, B-Y-D-I-D-I.com. Thanks.